What's up, Gabe? Rooster Keska here, and today I want to try and explain something to the community, to Sony, to the fan base. I feel like that definitely exists around PlayStation. PS5 has been in a bit of an odd spot because of the lack of exclusives directly done by Sony. While there is second-party stuff and third-party exclusives like Helldivers 2 and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth that are not only good, but definitely selling systems, I have been incredibly upset by the lack of PlayStation games by PlayStation. And I specifically today want to talk about why I'm actually upset about Horizon Zero Dawn Remaster. It's not just that it's lame, it's not just that it sucks, I actively think this is bad for Sony and it hurts PlayStation, but I want to explain why. Hi, hope you're having a great day, and if you could please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, this is coming from a place of love. I reviewed and beat both of the Horizon games. I gave them both 10 out of 10s. I very much love Horizon Zero Dawn. I love Aloy. I just think this universe is so unique and creative. But this remaster, it's pathetic. Like, look at this. This is the side-by-side -side comparison of the original version versus the hd -ification. Now, keep in mind... Horizon is already 4K 60fps on PS5. The original version, the base terrible version, is, in my opinion, pretty much identical. And a lot of people are already bagging on this. A lot of these comparisons, people are saying that this looks, if anything, the more realistic art of it is almost distracting. I've seen some people say that this looks like a person wearing a costume in a negative sense. In fact, I looked and saw uh, a lot of the trailers from the State of Play are uh, getting dislike bombed to hell, but one of them is the trailer for Horizon Zero Dawn Remaster has 28,000 dislikes. I mean, people are pissed. And I think it's partially just because this is such a tiny upgrade and it wasn't just done automatically. This is not the original assets being rendered at a higher scale. They've now done a couple interviews that there is a big staff that is working on this. There is a huge team of Sony employees that is currently actually developing this, making it so that not only does it have better lighting and better resolution and stuff like that, they actually re-recorded lines, they re cap stuff. This is a major project being done by PlayStation, and I think a lot of people are annoyed because... This feels so wasteful. Like, these side-by-side -side comparisons, in my opinion, they're barely noticeable. At best, like, maybe they're slightly better, but in a lot of these cases, they look identical. Or, or if there is a difference, it's a difference in art style more than, like, fidelity. Uh, this is the studio art director at Guerrilla Games who's been working on the project, and he says... We brought over Aloy's model from Forbidden West. We've also reworked the character lighting to match the look of Horizon Forbidden West, which undoubtedly is a good-looking game. We've improved skin tones. Hair shaders are improved. The slight blurring you see between the PS4 and PS5 screenshots is because the PS4 image has motion blur turned off, so this version will be even more crisp. But I gotta admit, this in a lot of these cases, it almost feels like a downgrade. This right here, the remastered version may be more realistic, but this is more stylized. This blue on red looks better in the original. This stark shadows coming through this mist here, these sunbeams, this objectively looks better even if this is more realistic, more lit. The fires would not be shooting out this red glow, but... I'm also, in real life, not going to be seeing a giant robot octopus that's destroying the world, you know? This doesn't have to be realistic, it has to be good. I was talking to some friends last night. We were in, like, a voice call, and we were talking about the Horizon remaster, and a lot of them predominantly play on PC, and they were saying, are you going to buy it? Are you going to review it? You love this series, are you going to go back? A lot of them were also saying that this feels extra weird because... They released Horizon Zero Dawn on PC not too long ago, and it already looks good and plays good. So even they who had played it for the first time recently were saying, what is the point of this project? And they started to say, 
What other games deserve this more? A lot of my anger really does stem from the fact that this is budget, this is time, this is actual focus by developers that could have been better spent doing something like, I don't know, remastering Infamous. Or if, even if we're talking like Guerrilla Games, let's make a Killzone collection or a Resistance collection or an Uncharted collection like a remake of Uncharted 1. I've seen people talk about how they'd like to get the old God of War games, which I've talked about. I'm personally not the biggest fan of the old God of War games, but why can't we play those? Why are those just gone? You have to stream them from the PlayStation 3 version to your PlayStation 5. Like, actually make games that are inaccessible for the PS5. Like, that's the weirdest part about this, is this game already works on this. It's already a PS4 game that looks good, and it already looks better on PS5, I can't believe the amount of budget they're spending on this. And a lot of Bloodborne fans are just talking about how it feels like it's bizarre that something like Bloodborne, if they even put in a little bit of work, if they poured this to PC, if they even came out with a 60 FPS patch, like anything Bloodborne would be trending for days on every social media. Every single YouTuber would make videos shooting thick, milky ropes of hype, like the fact that they are just completely ignoring everything that honestly would probably make more money, but it's not as safe of a bet. I am annoyed about Horizon Zero Dawn Remaster because even as a person that loves Horizon Zero Dawn, even as a person who's played so many hours of that game, a person who has admittedly, I openly wept, I cried my freaking eyes out at the ending of Horizon Zero Dawn. I, I think the game is... is absolutely beautiful, but it's already beautiful. What is with Sony specifically just dumping so much time and resources and creativity into projects that don't need it? Like this constant barrage of remasters, if anything, is starting to really disappoint me because they are doing new stuff as well. I'm not going to pretend that Sony is completely dead, but I wish they spent more time hyping up stuff like this. A, a lot of people are kind of bagging on Ghost of Yotai, saying it doesn't look next-gen enough, it doesn't look like a PS5 game, it looks like an upscaled PS4 game, but I think I'm extremely excited for this game. I'm very hyped to see what it's all about. I mean, that's a super low-res screenshot, so ignore that. But my point is the fact that at least this is something new. Uh, it sounds like they're still working on something else. This might just be like a Ghost of Tsushima spinoff and we're going to get like another big game after it. But it feels like Sony has this, this obsession with graphical fidelity where everything has to be as perfect as possible, as realistic as possible. I, I even see stuff like this. Today they tweeted out more stuff about the PS5 Pro saying, oh, check it out how good these games are going to look. Oh, wait, a lot of these are freaking games that also run on the PlayStation 4. Uh, right here, Pio replied, three of these games are on PS4. Horizon Forbidden West is on PS4. Last of Us is, of course, made for the PS4 and remastered. Gran Turismo is on the PlayStation 4. I, I, I hate that Sony has this weird obsession with just pumping up graphical fidelity. And, and I think maybe it's just because they think that's what people want. Like, when I see this list of stuff and updates... Yeah, I mean, I'm glad more games are going to run at 60 FPS. I'm a huge fan of 60 FPS, but these these updates to quality mode, including a range of improvements for Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered, I don't see the point of this. To be honest with you, this this entire project just feels lazy. And I want to make it clear, I'm not attacking the developers. I'm not attacking even like voice actors or the community managers that are championing this. I'm just saying that as a PlayStation fan, as a fan that's been buying these games, that's playing about these games, that cares about these games, this is the kind of stuff I feel like creates a bad taste in the mouth of PlayStation owners. Like, even this, the fact that Horizon Zero Dawn is now going to have a mandatory PSN account. In a lot of ways, the remastered version of this sounds like a downgrade. And I have to admit that a lot of my frustration just comes down to the fact that I feel like people are beginning to care less about graphics just in general, right? Not only is Astro Bot like a really good game that just came out that is a big success that has pretty much just 
you know, goofy, silly graphics, at least it's artistic. I feel like people are beginning to reminisce from the PlayStation 2 era a lot, the PlayStation 3 era, that yesteryear from two decades past where games didn't necessarily look photorealistic, but they were fun. They had a language. They conveyed fun stories and cool worlds. And yeah, a lot of times they were silly, but like last night, let me give you an example. Last night, me and my friends were talking about Red Faction. They used to be completely obsessed with it. I played it with them some back in high school, but not as much. And they were talking about how much they want a Red Faction remastered. I know they remastered one of the games, but there's like four Red Faction games and they're all good. But the first one specifically had multiplayer. It was so fun. So I decided to boot it up and play it on my PlayStation 5. This is like a kind of upscaled version of it. This is playing it on my PlayStation 5. The game is hard locked at 30 FPS. It doesn't look particularly well. It still has lots of load screens and stuff like that. But the game is fun. It's exciting. It's cool. It's it's unique. And it almost kind of makes me reminisce for this era of PlayStation. Like, obviously, that's not a Sony game, but just that era of where every game wasn't just trying to be as high fidelity as possible. They were trying to be fun. They were trying to be unique. They were trying to be different. And now everything's kind of become this sludge in a way. But maybe I'm just being a jaded boomer. What do you guys think? Tell me your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Maybe it's just because I'm playing so many indie games. I just platinumed last night on the treadmill. I was playing a bunch of vampire survivors and having a blast with it. I almost feel like... We're in this era that's almost moving away from graphics from a consumer standpoint, but from a developer standpoint, everybody is hyper fixated on making stuff as impressive as possible for a trailer. It, it's getting boring in a way that I did not expect. But tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you could, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And please keep dreaming. What the hell, man? What the hell? Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.